One of the things that people really love about Articulate Storyline is that you can turn any slide into a free-form interaction or scorable quiz question. And this is really powerful because it means that any image, any character, any shape, really any object on your slide can become an answer choice or even a draggable item that learners can interact with. So here's a quick overview of how to convert a slide to a free-form interaction. The slide that we're looking at right here is just a regular old slide right now. It's got some images that I've inserted here. It's got some text. It's got this yellow shape up here for the header bar thing. But you know, there's really nothing interactive about it yet. Well, what I can do is come up to my Insert tab and choose this option called Convert to Freeform. And that's going to give me a whole bunch of choices for the type of interaction or question that I want to turn this one into. So for this example, I'm going to choose the pick many question type. This is going to behave a lot like a multiple response question. Only in this case, I'm going to use pictures instead of check boxes for my answer choices. So once I choose the question type, I'm going to click OK, and then I'm going to see a question editor that looks something like this one. This is where I can set up all my preferences for the way this interaction behaves. And this screen is going to look a little different depending on the type of interaction or question that you're creating. So like right now we're seeing all the options, you know, for a pick many question. But if we were looking at building, you know, maybe a drag and drop question or a pick one question or something else, we'd probably see some different options to work with here. So in this case, what I'm going to do is use this choices column right here to pick the items that I want to be used as the answer choices in my question. And when I click in here, you can see how I can use both the drop down that's listed as well as that red outline that's appearing on the objects on my slide as I scroll through the list. It makes it super fast to set everything up. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my um, answer choices. There's the pine cone, there's the yellow leaf, there's the green serrated leaf, the compound leaf, and the pine branch. And then of course I would need to tell Storyline which one of these are correct. That would be the pine cone and the pine branches. And that's really all I would need to do. Um, I could come up here and customize some stuff with regard to these options like you know feedback and scoring and whatnot, but I really don't need to worry about that right now. I've got the essentials down and I can always come back and um, work with these options later. So I'm going to save and close and that's going to take us back to my slide. Now if I ever did need to go back to that question editor, like if I decided to you know maybe change which item is correct or if I wanted to customize you know, stuff like feedback or scoring, I can always click on this edit button right up here above my triggers panel. And that's going to take me right back to that same editor that we saw a minute ago. And this button, of course, is going to say something different to match the type of question that you're working with. Right now, mine says edit pick many because I'm working with a pick many question type. Also, let me just open that back up. If I decide that I really didn't want this to be an interactive slide after all, I can always click this delete button here on my question editor or if I'm working in the normal view of my slide I can come up here to the insert tab and click remove from free or remove free form and then the slide goes back to being just a regular old slide again. Now one more thing I wanted to mention is that when you do convert a slide to a free form interaction like this Storyline will automatically create some layers down here in the lower right of your um, authoring interface. These are slide layers that work as feedback. So that's kind of cool. These are totally customizable, so you can make them look however you want, but it's neat that you can you know, very quickly create um, feedback because Storyline um, generates those layers for you. So let's do a quick preview here to see how our interaction would look once we publish for our learners. So here's my choices and I can you know select any of these or click again to deselect. You can see the little um, glow around the selected items is indicating which ones I've chosen and you can make that look however you want as well. And then when I hit submit then I get my feedback. So that's pretty much it. It's really easy to convert any slide into something much more interactive or even scorable. So if you need some help on the specific features for any particular freeform question type you can check out the written tutorial that goes with this screencast and we've given you um, some links to each of the tutorials that walk through all the options for every freeform question type. Drag and drop, pick one, pick many, text entry, hotspot, and shortcut key. So be sure and check those out and have fun with your uh, freeform interactions.